moonlit reverie, in the quiet village of Everwood, nestled within the ancient forests of the land, there existed a tale whispered amongst the villagers, a tale of the mystical power of the moon. It was said that beneath the silvery glow of the moon, secrets were unveiled, destinies intertwined, and the deepest desires of the heart revealed. At the heart of the village stood a solitary cottage, its thatched roof and timber walls weathered by time. It was home to a young maiden named Alara, whose beauty was as radiant as the moon itself. Alara possessed a gift bestowed upon her by the celestial bodies above. She could commune with the moon, its whispers guiding her steps and illuminating her path. Alara was a vision of ethereal beauty, her presence akin to a delicate flower blooming beneath the moon's gentle gaze. Her hair cascaded in waves of midnight black, kissed by strands of silver that shimmered like starlight woven into the darkness. Her eyes, the color of the deepest sapphire, held a wisdom far beyond her years, their gaze both piercing and gentle, as if they could see into the very depths of one's soul. Her features were delicate, sculpted as if by the hand of a master artisan, high cheekbones, a slender nose, and lips that curved into a serene smile that could melt even the coldest of hearts. But it was not just her physical beauty that captivated those who beheld her. It was the aura of grace and tranquility that surrounded her, as if she carried within her the essence of the moon itself. Draped in robes of flowing white, embroidered with threads of silver and moonstone, Alara moved with a grace that was both otherworldly and mesmerizing. Each step she took seemed to echo with the ancient rhythms of the earth, her movements fluid and effortless, like a dancer lost in the embrace of the music of the cosmos. But it was not just her outward appearance that set Alara apart. It was the depth of her soul, the strength of her spirit, and the boundless compassion that flowed from her heart like a river of light. She possessed a quiet confidence, born not of arrogance, but of an inner knowing, a knowing that she was destined for greatness, guided by the celestial forces that watched over her from above. One fateful evening, as the moon hung low in the sky, casting its gentle light upon the earth, Alara felt a stirring within her soul. It was as if the moon itself beckoned to her, calling her forth into the night. With a sense of wonder coursing through her veins, Alara ventured into the forest, guided by the ethereal glow of the moonlight. Deeper and deeper into the woods she wandered, her senses alive with the enchantment of the night. The rustle of leaves, the soft hoot of an owl, and the distant murmur of a stream filled the air, weaving a tapestry of sounds that spoke to her very soul. And above it all, the moon shone bright, its silver beams leading her ever onward. As Alara emerged into a clearing bathed in moonlight, she beheld a sight that took her breath away, a shimmering pool, its surface reflecting the celestial glow above. Drawn by an unseen force, she approached the water's edge, her reflection dancing upon its surface like a ghostly apparition. With trembling hands, Alara dipped her fingers into the cool, liquid embrace of the pool, feeling its ancient magic course through her veins. And then, as if in a dream, she saw visions unfold before her eyes, a tapestry of memories, hopes, and dreams woven into the fabric of time. She saw a young couple, their hands clasped together beneath the moonlit sky, their love eternal as the stars above. She saw a lone traveler, weary from his journey, finding solace beneath the gentle gaze of the moon. She saw a child, eyes wide with wonder, reaching out to touch the moon's reflection in the water. But amidst the beauty and wonder of the visions, Alara sensed something else, a darkness lurking at the edges, threatening to consume the light. It was a shadow of doubt, a fear of uncertainty a darkness that sought to extinguish the brilliance of the moon and plunge the world into eternal night. With a heart heavy with sorrow, Alara knew that she must confront the darkness that threatened to engulf the world. Drawing upon the strength within her, she raised her gaze to the heavens and called out to the moon, her voice ringing clear and true across the silent night. Guide me, O celestial guardian, she whispered, her words carried upon the breeze. Lend me your strength, that I may banish the darkness and restore the light to our world. And in that moment, as if in answer to her plea, the moon shone brighter than ever before, its radiant glow banishing the shadows that lurked in the depths of the forest. 
With renewed determination, Alara set forth, her heart ablaze with the power of the moon. Through trials and tribulations, she journeyed, her path illuminated by the silver light above. And with each step she took, she felt the darkness recede, its hold upon the world weakening in the face of her unwavering resolve. At last, as dawn broke upon the horizon, Alara emerged victorious, the darkness vanquished and the light of the moon shining triumphant once more. And as she stood amidst the ruins of her ordeal, she knew that the power of the moon would forever guide her steps, lighting her way through even the darkest of nights. For in the end, it was not the darkness that defined her, but the light that dwelled within her heart, a light fueled by the boundless power of the moon and the unyielding strength of her spirit. And so, as the village of Everwood awoke to a new day, they knew that they owed their salvation to the maiden who had dared to embrace the power of the moon and emerge victorious against the forces of darkness.